Hi everybody, this is Tina with Rehatch Designs. Hope everybody's doing well. I have a uh, flip through of uh, some journals that I made and these are long overdue. Um, I started making them on my channel and they are winter journals and I know it's very late, but I was on a guest design team for Lorna Taylor and I wanted to go ahead and um, finish them and do the flip through because of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I thought you might be interested, uh, especially the people that watched me um, do this on my channel. Um, I have two of them. <clears throat> One of them is made with um, a digital kit of, called Winter's Magic and one uh, Winter's Tale, and they're both on uh, Lorna Taylor's Etsy. So you can find them there. Um, and I'll just uh, kind of go through them both, I guess, because they're different. They're similar, but they're, they're different. So um, I'll go through them pretty quickly. This is um, <clears throat> the one that was made with uh, Winter's Tail. And I, I didn't really interchange that much in both of them because um, I wanted to kind of show you what was each in each kit. Although I will have to say you could very easily intermix these. The colors are similar and they work really well together. Um, a few things I crossed over like some of her cutouts and maybe a couple of the tags, but for the most part I kept um, each one mostly separate. Um, this is made with an Amazon um, packaging uh, bag and it's one signature journal. Um, I believe it has about 80 pages. So, and it's a chunky little journal, but it's it's really kind of squishy and easy to hold. Um, but it is it is um, made to look kind of like leather on the outside. And it has some um, uh, vintage lace here and some vintage ticking. And then there's some duct tape on it just to give it kind of a layered look. And in the front, it just has um, several different layers of things. Um, to make it look like snow and um, some snowflakes and some different um, white um, little leaves and things. And there's a wooden um, snowflake here with another snowflake on top of it, some burlap. And that's, you know, pretty much it. I did seal the front of it um, with a sealer, a wax sealer. So it is, you know, not waterproof, but it's, you know, reasonably sealed and then this part of it up here it's got a piece of glue right there it looks like but this part of it here it has the little um you know book plate on there that says i named it winter forest so um anyway that's the outside of it and i kept the little openings in the side of the mailer and um you can see that on my channel, and I'll, I'll put that in the description box as far as the how-to and how we did this. Anyway, it has some um, seam binding, some dyed uh, seam binding holding it on the outside, and um, that's pretty much it. So there's two lengths of it, but you just open it up. It should open, hopefully not tangled. Um, it does lay flat because it is a soft... Uh, journal and it, although it is very full if you took everything out of this it does not have a gator mouth it just does when I fill it up with everything um, on the very um, first part of it you'll see this uh, ruffle here sticking out and that is really because um, <clears throat> I have a journaling card and I left this part open in the mailer so that you could do that so it has a big journaling card and with the little ruffle on it and that's it's made to kind of give a little extra decoration and when you open it up it has this this is very vintage ticking um, that I put in here and it's kind of a blue uh, color it looks grungy but I it that's just how it really looks so anyway um, it I have um, this is a little envelope that came with the kit, and there's a little card in there, and then there's this uh, Winter's Tale, another card came with the kit. And then this is something 
that I made um, with my mixed media. And I put that, there's a lot of little mixed media tags and things like that in here. Um, I always like to do a lot of personal things in there too. So anyway, all that goes up there. Um, this is a, a vintage piece of, I believe this was a tablecloth at one time. And I put this little uh, rose on there because to me it looked like the uh, pine cone on there because this has little pine cones on it. And then this little thing has these little rabbits. Again, this is another mixed media thing that I made with these little rabbits in there. It says snowflake. And then there's two more tags in there. And then that's the paper behind it. So I will put that in there. And then here, here's just a tag here. And I made this little pocket. Um, there's a lot of different papers in here. This is just some coffee dyed paper. This is some mulberry paper. This is an envelope that I put in there with one of the journaling cards. Put that in there. And then this is um, just one of the papers that came with that. And here is just another pocket with a journaling card. This is just another paper. And the, the, these are just so pretty. They have this wonderful watercolor, just, I don't know, they're, they're just really beautiful. Um, this has a, a lot more just brown and blue tones. Um, the other kit has, you'll see, has some other different tones in it. But interestingly enough, they, this is just a uh, belly band with this beautiful picture and then this little folder that you can write on. This is just some vellum, coffee dyed paper. This is just a coffee dyed bag that I put in there and I didn't put anything on it because I liked how it looked. And then there's a journaling card in there. I really made this to be kind of more of a writing type journal. It has a lot of room in for it right because even though this is beautiful, there's still a lot of writing room in there. And here's a lot of uh, mixed media things in there too. Here's another, um, pocket. This is a, it's not really a coffee dyed paper. I did this with ink, but I thought it turned out really pretty and it's very much the same tones as this beautiful picture here. Uh, and then this is a journaling card. And then again, I made another pocket in there. This is a really pretty piece of coffee dyed paper. I love when it does that. This is just a card that I put in there another mixed media tag um, and all of those are you know backed with a coffee dyed paper and on this beautiful page with a pocket and that came with the kit also and then this is just something I cut out of a fussy cut out of a page and then I put it on there to make just a little tuck spot this little owl and then I put another little owl postcard in there some more blue vellum another owl. Here is, um, this came with the kit. So, and that goes there. And this is just another half of a envelope and then I covered the other half. I put a journaling card in there. But again, I didn't write on this because I, I just like how it looks. And then there is another um, coffee dyed paper. Here's another pocket I made and there's some tags in there. This came with the kit and then this is a mixed media tag that I fussy cut one of her images out on one of the pages and put that on that um, tag that I made. And Here's another beautiful page. And then this is the middle of the signature. It's just a one signature journal. And there's another mixed media tag that I made. Another little pocket. This is an envelope that's in the middle. It has another one of those little folders that comes with the kit. 
This kit is amazing because it has so many things in it. I mean, everything you'll need. It has, you know, words. It has, uh, I mean, all the tags, envelopes. Um, it has a bunch of fussy cat things in there. And, like, I don't know. I'll, I'll try and do better. This is another um, mixed media tag that I made. Stick that in there. So, I mean, it's a very complete kit. And if you get both of them, you have tons of stuff. Okay, here are two beautiful tags. And I went ahead and finished this because it doesn't have any kind of a Christmas or any kind of that theme at all. It's all winter. To me, it looks very uh, appropriate for right now because it's very much just all, um, you know, winter forest. Um, na a nature type thing. So here's a tag, and then the, another one, two more, and then I just took, this is one of the postcards that come with the kit, and I just made a pocket out of it. Another beautiful page. Um, this is just a bag that I put in there, and inside it, it has, now this didn't come with the kit. This is an eco die tag. I believe this might be a freebie from Artie Mays. But I liked it because it had the brown in it, and there's a lot of brown in here. See, like, these are some of the um, fussy cut cutouts that you get with, with this kit. And I just used it on a mixed media. I made a mixed media tag. And then here's a pocket that came with the kit that I just um, put some lace and trim on. Another beautiful page. Some blue vellum. And here's some more tags another tag and then here's another envelope I think it has a little card in it probably yeah just this cute little card and I really didn't duplicate anything um this is just what a lot of this came, it just came with it so it did come with a lot here's a pocket um and there's a belly band and a journaling card there. This is just the other part of that card. Again, I didn't do anything. I left it for writing space. And then I thought this was really pretty. So I, I just love my coffee dyed paper when it does. I can't make it do that, but it does do it sometimes. Here's another little journaling card with this little pocket right here. Um, another beautiful page. And... Um, that other dyed, gray dyed paper, grayish blue. And this beautiful page here that I made. This is um, a page back here, and then I fussy cut this box and made a little side pocket out of it and then put this little journaling card in there. So, and then here's another beautiful page. This is the other part of that bag. And here's a journaling card in there. And let's see here. Another vellum. Here is another journaling card. And this is just a cutout that I had. But this, the magic of winter came with the kit. So, and then this is one of the postcards that came in there with the page. And I just made a pocket out of it. Um, another beautiful page. Some more writing. And then this is another pocket and some journaling cards in it. Another page. And then this again is another half of an envelope that I made into a little pocket. And then I put a little journaling card in there. The other part of that mulberry paper. It's really pretty blue and white. And anyway. And here's another one. And then here is the last page. And it's got one of the little postcards and this pretty fox one and some journaling cards in it. So there's two of those and then that one. And they're kind of tucked in the back. And then in the very last, it's got a couple of little journaling cards. And then this is just a little side tuck here that I made um, with the burlap and the um, ticking. 
the vintage ticking. And it has this envelope um, with a seal on it. It's just tucked in there with just this piece of um, paper from the kit that you can journal on, put a note or something in it. It's really pretty. It's got, I don't know, it, it mainly has different blues and kind of grays and brown, but they all, just those colors are, it's just, it makes it very interesting, I think. I like the, the, uh, the, the, uh, that mixture it really looks pretty. And then this is the last page, the last journaling card that sticks out. So here's the journaling card and it just kind of sticks out to kind of give it some more interest because when you close it, you can see both of these in there. So, oh, moving my camera. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the next one. Tie that up, but, um, okay, so this is the one that was done with um, Winter's Magic, and um, it definitely goes with the other ones. Very similar, the outside. Again, it was done with one of the, um, you know, the uh, mailers that you get, you know, from Amazon, the packaging, the brown packaging. And um, similar style on the cover with all the different leaves. Uh, you know, it has snow, a little bit of snow glitter, and then it has a wooden snowflake with another one there. And I named it Magic of Winter. And this came, the words came with the cat on some burlap. And then again, with that little thing on there. So that is it. Um, and then again, in front, I've got the big journaling card. Um, so I put that up front and it, you know, it just, it adds to the overall. This isn't really very frilly or lacy. I wanted to make it look very organic and natural. That's why I kind of did the leather, but I did add a little bit here and there. Um, but just not a lot. Okay, this has a little, and again, this is the, uh, pretty much exclusively the uh, Winter's Magic. Um, I may have mixed one or two tags in here. I don't think so, though. And I know that I used some of the um, kind of clip art on some of the uh, tags that I made, but for the most part, this is just all the Winter's uh, Magic. So you could see what the two look like, but you can see this has a few more colors in it, more green, a little bit more reddish and orange, but you can mix these together really easily if you wanted to. So here's a tag there. Here, this is a little um, library card that's in there. And then this is a tag. Now see, this came with the um, Winter's Tail cut out, but I used it on these tags. That's what I'm talking about. So, anyway, that's a mixed media uh, tag that I made. Put that in there. And then this pocket is just has the burlap and the vintage ticking. This has a little pocket and it has two tags in it. So, this is just that. And then here's the page. Some vellum, another page. So you can see a little bit more color. And then here, this again is the cutouts that came with the other kit, but I used it on this um, journaling card that I made. Okay, and let's see here. This is an envelope that I put in there, or I made, actually, I made this out of one of the pieces of paper that came with the kit, just to add some interest. And then here's a file folder that came with it. it goes in there. I like to add lots of little places to tuck things. And then this came with it, and here's another little card that goes in there, and that's the page. 
another piece of that um, dyed paper. Oops. And then here's some mulberry paper. It's really pretty. And then see this beautiful page. I think it's so pretty. And then here's a belly band that I made out of, I think this was one of the tags that came with the kit and I just made a belly band out of it. There's an envelope that came with it and I made, I just put a little journaling card in there. And coffee dyed paper. Here I have another little paper in there with a journaling card. And then I put some of these little roses on here. And this is a little postcard that came in there. And then here's some journaling cards that came with it. And I just put those in here. Um, okay, so this is a pocket that came with it. And I just added some lace, a beautiful page behind it. And then I made this journaling card. And beautiful kind of white vellum and this really pretty copy dyed paper, another really pretty page, and then this um, page, this is really a postcard and I made a pocket out of it. And it has this uh, mixed media tag that I made, um, this tag, this little journaling card, and then this tag. So there is lots of places to write in this thing even though I think it's it's pretty well decorated. Okay, this is a little pocket that I made um, with a half of the envelope. And then here's just a little journaling card that came in there. And then it was decorated with a piece of paper. This beautiful page there. And then here's another little postcard I made into a pocket. And here's some journaling cards, another little journaling card. But you can see the red and the green that you have in here that you don't you don't have with the other kit. But yet, the blues and the browns all match, so that you could get definitely um, definitely um, mix those. Another page, and then this is the center of the um, journal, and I put an envelope in it, and there's a journaling card in there. So you can definitely tuck things in there. And let's see here. This is just a bag that I put on here and kind of put some lace on it. And I didn't do anything again because I liked how it looked. I thought it looked really cool. A little belly band I made with another little envelope here and it has a journaling card. I thought it looked really pretty on that page. It's another pretty page. Here's another little um, envelope that I made with the, this is a paper from the get, but I made it into a little envelope here. Um, so it has a little um, file folder that came with it, came with the kit. And then here's another little pocket. And here is a mixed media tag and another little journaling card. So there we go, right there. I thought that weren't really pretty in there. Another little beautiful page and some coffee bed paper. And a piece of vellum. And here is um, a part of... Um, a tag that I cut into a pocket and then I put a mixed media tag and this cut out I had so I don't even remember where I got it from but um, this is another mixed media tag that I have that I made okay and here's the other part of that bag again I didn't do anything to the outside because I like the I don't know, I was trying to make this kind of very earthy and not real blingy at all. I wanted to make it more like a, a, a winter nature journal is what I was going for. So oh, here's some more of that mulberry paper, more of that beautiful coffee dyed paper. And I put a little spray, a little 
a white glistening spray on this and that just to kind of make it look a little snowy. I didn't want things real sparkly, but I wanted it to look snowy. And on this page, I think we have a little envelope here with this little tag that goes in there and then this little journaling card. right make sure it's in there and then I have this I made in a little envelope and again I didn't do anything on there on this side is um, some of the paper and then I have this little journaling card some more coffee dye paper and then here's another pocket that I decorated a little bit on this page and then here is another mixed media tag and another tag so Anyway, and then this one is another beautiful page and that card. Some blue vellum, some coffee dyed. Another one here, and then here is the back um, little tuck spot, and here is another a mixed media tag and a fox. And this again, this most all of these came from. A winner's tail and then this was just uh i think a tim holtz die cut i'm not positive but anyway and then i have an envelope and it has a seal on it and it has a piece of paper in the back so can write on it so you can have a note or something whatever you want in there you can just put that right there with this and then again the very last is a just a big tag and it sticks out the back to just kind of add some decoration to the whole thing so anyway that is it guys um i am going to put them in my etsy shop i know it's kind of um late to have those in there but i actually have nothing in my shop so i'm kind of putting them in there just so i have something in my shop if you're interested, you're welcome to purchase them, but that's not the main reason I'm putting them in there, just so that I have something in there. Um, I did want to um, get those done. I know that y'all waited patiently in my series, but I just got into um, cleaning my craft room, and I did a whole series on all that, and y'all can see that, and if you, the mess that I had, and I still have all stuff I've got to put away in other places but it was an ordeal so I just got totally sidetracked and didn't get to finish and they were almost finished so I just said I'm going to get that finished in fact I'm going to probably spend um, the rest of this month trying to finish multiple journals that I've had on hand and that I haven't finished and they may seem out of place or out of time for, um, you know, the season, but I'm just going to finish them and throw them in my Etsy shop or whatever, give them away or do something because I have quite a few that I need to finish. So that's going to be what I'm going to do for the rest of this month. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope everybody's doing well, and um, I will be back soon. I I will gonna I'm gonna probably try and do some crafts with me next week. So stay tuned, and I'll see you soon.